Andrew Wade, right there. let's I got listen right now to Fox 11's Olivier to Stu get us Mundell. Into, the, into position because of that hillside. Now, this is going to take us down to that, and this is going to be really, really tough. Now, hopefully that driver is just going to kind of just give up and not try to push his way through there. One CHP unit behind it right there. You can see him. That officer probably very frustrated right now, not being able to get out, possibly get that driver to stop. Stopped traffic, though, super solid, making their way out onto Balboa Boulevard out here. Right now, though, California Highway Patrol technically still in pursuit. The only want for that vehicle is speed. Well, and you know, you see right there, Stu, he's, he's he or she is basically sandwiched in. Yeah. I mean, there's nowhere for this individual to go. Right. And, you know, this is where it gets so difficult for Ooh, anybody yeah. involved. You know, it, it, this guy is going to start lunging, moving forward. Uh, we just don't want to see anybody get hurt. And in this case, maybe even some kind of minor damage to some other people's vehicles. Now, that one officer right there from the California Highway Patrol, we were listening to his voice earlier on. Now, wrong oh. way on the oh, on yeah. Balboa. And this is one of those areas where people just, you know, they speed up. They're, they're trying to get to where they need to be. Uh, right now, it looks like he's trying trying to play what oh jeez and this is what you got to be thinking about yeah. these drivers oh, man. just oh yeah and you're just driving to work you're just trying to get around some traffic and now you're dealing with that oh, wow. that was that trash truck would have been bad and getting back over he was safe right there for just a few moments right now that vehicle really starting to pick up some speed again you just don't want to see anybody get hurt or any kind of accidents making his way past all of that traffic or at least a lot of uh. that slowdown now i believe we're getting on to san fernando boulevard the it looks like he passed the uh, actual balboa uh, wide open right oh, now yeah. but this takes us back on to Roxford. So uh, keeping an eye on it, I know the uh, LAP, I'm sorry, the, the California Highway Patrol, they want to get a helicopter in position. They've been talking about California Highway Patrol ships and also LAPD. Right now, though, this vehicle making its way pretty much farther down the roadway. I got to work with my pilot, uh, 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 Olivier. Uh, Olivier, we got to move to the south, buddy. We got to go south with the freeway. We got to go south on the freeway. And Olivier. And uh, and Stu, I, sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, it's oh, sorry. And just a clarifying question. You said that this individual, the only want from them by the by the highway patrol is for speed. Correct. This is not a stolen vehicle. Uh, you know, we haven't heard anything about it being a stolen vehicle. One second. Yes, southbound, yeah. southbound, 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 all the way down to, to Roxford in the five. Just go south. Coming I'll up another traffic jam. Sorry about there. that. And, and yeah, and you know, it, the only thing we heard was it was uh, speed related, and it, the sheriff's department originally picking that up. We did hear them make a conversation. They did. That's what they do. They they have to weigh the the you know the the. the the infraction uh, to the public safety, mm -hmm. and we did hear them asking, was there anything else with this vehicle besides mm -hmm. speed? Meaning, you know, as you were asking, was it stolen? Was it involved in a crime or anything like that? It came back, I heard them say earlier on negative. Now, that could have changed. Our assignment desk might have different information on that. Sure. But right now, he's getting himself back onto the 5 freeway. You can see those speeds much faster than whatever else is going on down there. And again, this driver right now, the only person he's running from, technically would be us because we're the only ones watching right now but you can see that vehicle still driving extremely recklessly down there uh, coming up on other vehicles we saw him cut off that one car just moments ago at least he's using his blinkers don't know what that's worth yeah. right now but at any rate uh, just uh, a reckless driver this morning right now making his way on the 5 freeway over by the 405 looks like we are taking the 405 freeway southbound again just these crazy weaving moves cutting uh, moves cutting off other other cars being very dangerous this, uh, this morning. And again, California Highway Patrol, uh, they have fallen so far behind. Yeah. And th you don't and even that's see not them. A, that's not a slight. That's not a slight. They are just they have to be safe. Yeah. Sure. Hopefully the, the, some of these pockets of slowdowns will help the, the cops catch up to him. And so now it looks like... But you know... Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I, I believe that uh, they have basically just given it up. They've walked away mm. from it. They, as I understand it, we don't even have a helicopter except for Sky Fox over this right now. So if they're watching, they may choose to re-engage if they have an officer in the area. But uh, right now, this vehicle just driving very recklessly. We're making our way over to Rinaldi, southbound 405 freeway. And again, the California Highway Patrol, when they break off like that, it is because of safety. Uh -huh. And they're mm -hmm. keeping the, the public safe. So so they have to do what they have to do. And uh, right now, this driver, 
really, it just kind of shows you there is nobody chasing this person. He should really just calm down and see some normal driving. But we have yet to see that happen. And so when they back off and they peel away like this, of course, for safety, as you've just mentioned, does that mean, like, how do they apprehend in your experience with these, how do they apprehend an individual like this? Well, a lot of times it, it is just as we were talking about, it, it, they just kind of have to weigh it. It's like right now this person is just wanted for speed. They would they would get that license plate number as they have mm -hmm. that license plate number. They'll probably just go door knock or at, at mm. some other time encounter this person and say, hey, we want to talk to you about this incident that mm. happened and you know at this time. But right now this vehicle just kind of blending into traffic. I'm going to get a little bit wider. I have to admit that I did turn our scanner down as we were going live, but right now you can see see no law enforcement right there that wow. is definitely on the Rinaldi off-ramp southbound 405 and uh, this vehicle now just kind of blending into traffic as it should we'll keep an eye on it I'm sure but uh, as far as the actual pursuit portion I believe that that part is over and right now they're just gonna kind of keep an eye on it all right, all right Stu. thank you Stu and we're gonna yeah we're gonna keep an eye on that all right, that was Fox 11 uh, coverage right there in Los Angeles. You heard there uh, from Stu Mundell high up above Sky Fox uh, that uh, the California Highway Patrol uh, not uh, pursuing that vehicle anymore because of uh, safety concerns there. So I want to, though, bring you back out full here to a police pursuit that was called off there, but now we're watching as uh, the suspect there was able to park his car and now walking uh, just casually on this block there on his uh, phone let's listen right now to the coverage from fox 11 los angeles as they're back on this right now here on live now from fox it's kind of leisurely on a morning walk you know that i love the fact that that frustration seeps through a lot of folks feel that same way you know you watch these guys and we you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go out on a limb and call this uh, gentleman a knucklehead yeah. because of all that crazy driving i mean it, you, like you said he put so many people at risk this morning going going the wrong way uh, you know i mean i can you just imagine just driving on, on, on the roadway and then have this car barreling down right at you of course uh, we did see at least one jeep like swerve out of the way so he definitely is affecting a lot of folks this morning. And for what? I mean, maybe there are some other circumstances. Maybe he does have some uh, some warrants. But to put so many people's lives in danger and, then of course, injury to others and, and property is just the problem. He's just kind of walking along. We've made our way over to Handoon Dr uh, Avenue and Paxton. I'm saying that out loud just in case there are some right. law enforcement in the area. And sure. uh, we're keeping an eye on this guy right now. But, like, but I don't think this is where he lives. I think he basically just parked that vehicle yeah. and got out and I'm sure he's on the phone trying to maybe pick up an Uber or maybe a, right. a friend and and see where he can where he can go from here but right now making our way out onto Paxton that's that major street right there and uh, the irony continues as no law enforcement here right no. now just to uh, apprehend that yeah. uh, suspect. where is everybody where, right, where, where is everybody where is everybody and give us a, so this is the Pacoima community is that correct Stu Yes, we're definitely in a okay. Pacoima area. There, there we go. go. Uh, LAPD. Oh, no, I'm sorry, California Highway Patrol. There you go. And, and it, there's that. It's that polar bear. That's the uh, the all white vehicle we saw earlier on. Uh, we're gonna move the Sky Fox. I don't think this guy's gonna give them any kind of trouble. He just doesn't look like that type. So no. we're gonna keep an eye on him right there, and uh, we're gonna move Sky Fox a little to the north, Olivier, so we can see him, take him into into custody. But right now, this definitely coming to an end. California Highway Patrol pulling that last card and getting this guy into. custody. All right, well, that's good All to right. see that come he's to a down conclusion, on the ground. and he's down on the ground. It looks like he is going yeah. without a fight, so yeah. that's going good to see. Going without a fight, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Good to see. All, all right. right, thank yeah, you, We followed Stu. it all the way to the end. No, thank you. All right, that was definitely a weird uh, outcome there for this type of chase that was uh, called off there, and then the suspect was just able to uh, park the car and walk a couple of uh, blocks, and now you're watching live here as uh, the suspect there being arrested right now after putting a lot of lives in danger as he was really reckless at times going uh, the opposite way and uh, coming into oncoming traffic uh, multiple times there. But that suspect now arrested there and will be taken into custody. We are going to take our first break here of this hour. Stay right, stay right here with us. More to come on Live Now from Fox.